the field team using one of the most fun learning tool, water rocket. Usually water rocket is used to learn physics, since the elementary school heard nothing about Newton's laws of motion. The field team combining the excitement of the blast with simple math and language learning. In the first step, pupils asked to count up to 10 in sequential in English, then they count the number down to 1. The water rocket lift off only after they counting in the right way. That is a kind of force that can be learned using Newton's law of motion. Law of motion had been introduced by Isaac Newton three century ago. They described the relationship between the forces acting on a body and its motion due to those forces. First law, objects at rest will stay at rest, or objects in motion will stay in motion unless acted upon by an unbalanced force. Second law, the acceleration of an object is directly related to the force exerted on that object, and oppositely related to the mass of that object. Third law, for every action, there is always an opposite and equal reaction. Are you feeling confused? Let's go to the our water rocket. First law, to force a rocket to lift off, force must be exerted. You must pump it to give force. A higher pressure means higher force. Usually our water rocket launch at 70 pounds per square inch or psi. Second law, the rate or speed will be determined by two things. First the mass or weight of the rocket and second by the force that produced by the water. It means you need struggling with physics and experiment to find better rocket design. Third law, the reaction, or motion, of the rocket away from the launch pad, is equal to and opposite, from the thrust of the engine, or nozzle. Are you still confused? Go to the library, and learn more about force, from physics subject. Only then you can unleash the hidden force, may the force be with you. Say!